Hello, people on YouTube or people who, um, yeah, well, I don't think I have a lot of followers or viewers, except people I know. Uh, anyway, uh, it's been way too long uh, for me to do any videos, and uh, the, I think the most recent one I ever did was back in... Wow, I think it's back, it was December was my last one, or November. It was a while back, so a lot has happened. Uh, uh, superhero movies, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Wonder Woman, uh, what am I forgetting? Rogue One. Uh, I did try to make a video on that, but it didn't go so well. Because uh, I was really sick for like the whole month of December. And I was really bad. Anyway, well, uh, I'm here now and I'm making a video. And it's going to be titled, if you guys who watch uh, this video, it's going to be titled uh, Fantastic Four in the MCU. So recently at a Disney convention, I think it's called D23, uh, Marvel w had this um, little uh, section and little uh, area and they had the uh, ginormous statue of Thanos, the main antagonist for the new upcoming Avengers movie, Avengers <laughs> Infinity War. And behind him were four cloaked statues. And there was a humongous rumor of the Fantastic Four being those four cloaked statues. It turned out it wasn't. It was uh, Thanos' lackey group that were from the comics called the Black Order. And I think those statues look amazing. And I love Black Order very much. Uh, I think they're one of the most feared supervillain groups of all time. In Marvel Comics, anyway. But uh, it did get me thinking, along with everyone else, I'm still, I'm still in the hopes that they are introducing the uh, Fantastic Four in the MCU. And here's why. When uh, Sony and Marvel were like, uh, secretly confirmed that, uh, you know, um, Spider-Man was going to join the MCU and, you know, make no. the MCU a thousand, a thousand times better, which it did. No. And... Hey, hey, buddy. I'm ta I'm petting my retarded dog. Want to say hi? No. Yeah. You 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 rest. Anyway, and uh, I think Marvel. This is what I thought Marvel did. They gave like little little bits and pieces uh, until they just flat out confirmed it. And I think this is what they're doing for the Fantastic Four. I think they baited us on purpose. Thinking it will be the Fantastic Four at that convention, giving everyone's hopes up, making a lot of people believe, oh, they're not going to be in the movie, and their mind, or hopes are lost, until the end, until we see the movie, and until we find out, like, what happens if the Black Order is the Fantastic Four, and they just turn evil from Thanos. Or, the Fantastic Four get their powers from Infinity War. Or, this is my theory, uh, the Fantastic Four are in a separate pocket dimension. This is like from a little bit from the Ultimate uh, Universe comics, which was a line of Marvel comics uh, in the early 2000s. And their fear and their origin was it was through dimensional rifts, and it through that rift, uh, energy blasted and uh, energy bolt blasted, and it affected Re uh, Sue Storm, Reed Richards. Uh, uh, Johnny Storm and Ben Grimm and gave them their powers. I think it's going to be like that, but instead of them getting powers and staying in the in the world, they get trapped in a in a pocket dimension, and a Sorcerer Supreme finds them, saves them, brings them into uh, the middle of a fight with Thanos, and they go, go against the Black Order. Or, this is my other one, number one theory. Uh, they, um, they are, the Black Order is the Fantastic Four. And they just rewrite the Black Order's origin saying, oh yeah, that's the Fantastic Four, but they got their powers for Thanos, and once Thanos is dead, probably, I mean, that's the end of Infinity Gauntlet. Jeez, buddy, what happened to your leg there? And... Sorry, my dog's, my dog's leg. That's really not good, buddy. Anyway, uh, yep. Yeah. 
Anyway, and uh, they were imbued with powers by Thanos, and once it's over, they keep the powers, and like, I don't know, instead of the Black Order powers, they have, they turn into like the Fantastic Four, and they go back with Earth, and uh, you know, they, um, they become heroes, and you know, being be MCU, which will be great. Wish would Fox do that with the X Men as well, and uh, my theory is also is that Doctor Strange was found the X Men universe, and they bring them. And anyway, that's a stupid theory, but who knows? Anywho, that's uh, that's my theory. I think Marvel purposely tried to make people think it was the uh, Fantastic Four in those you know cloak uh, statues. But in reality, it was the Black Order, and they wanted to bait at us so they will get our hopes down until the uh, Infinity War happens, and they show in a trailer or something the Fantastic Four are real. Or the Fantastic Four or the Black Order. Either one. I, I really hope that's the case. I think it will be a smart move to have Fox and uh, Marvel do the same deal with, the, uh, with Marvel and Sony, where they can, like... Uh, Sony uh, Fox gets all the money if they if uh, Marvel Studios produces and creates their own Fantastic Four in the MCU. I think that's a smart play. I think that's what they should do. I think they should, Fox should get with the system and do the right call because that makes more money in the process. Anyway, uh, whoever watches my video, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, have a good night.